So in this video, we'll try to understand how to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram in case of the simply supported beam carrying two point loads, 5 kN and 7 kN from the left hand and right hand supports at a distance of 1.5 meter. So let us draw this particular diagram. Total span length that is given as 5 meter. So from the left hand support at a distance of 1.5 meter, we are having this 5 kN force. Similarly, from the right hand support also at a distance of 1.5 meter, we are having this particular point load of 7 kN. And the total span length is 5 meter. So middle span length will be 2 meter. Now, first step is always to calculate the reactions at point A and point B. For this, we have to apply the conditions of equilibrium. So applying the first condition of equilibrium, that is summation of Fy is equal to zero, and assuming that the upward forces are positive and downward forces are negative. So you can see that this Ra it is acting in the upward direction. This Rb it is also acting in the upward direction. Whereas this 5 kN it is acting in the downward direction and 7 kN it is also acting in the downward direction. So these two forces they are negative and Ra and Rb they are acting in the upward direction so they are positive. So Ra plus Rb minus 5 minus 7 is equal to 0 or you can say that Ra plus Rb is equal to 12 kN. Now let us call this as equation 1. Applying the another condition of the equilibrium that is the summation of moment is equal to 0 assuming that the clockwise moments are positive and anti-clockwise moments are negative. So we have to start with this Rb. So you can see this Rb it is acting in the upward direction and it will produce the anti-clockwise moment about point A. And therefore as it is producing anti-clockwise moment it is negative. So from B point up to A point we are taking moment about this particular point. From B to A the distance is 5 and the force is Rb. So, minus Rb into 5. Then another force is 7 kN. This is acting in the downward direction and it will produce the clockwise moment about this A. So, 7 and from D up to point A, the distance is 3.5. So, and as it is a clockwise moment, we are considering this term as a positive term. Similarly, this 5 kN force, which is also acting in the downward direction, will also produce the clockwise moment about this A. So 5 multiplied by the perpendicular distance from C to A is 1.5. So 5 into 1.5 that is also positive. Now transfer this negative term on the other side it will become positive and you will get the first value that is Rb and that is equal to 6.4 kN. Now we can substitute this value of Rb in this first equation. So Ra will be equal to 12 minus Rb. So that is 12 minus value of Rb just now we have calculated it is 6.4 kN and therefore Ra is equal to 5.6 kN. So the value of Ra is 5.6 kN, value of Rb is 6.4 kN. Now we can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. The conventions which are used for drawing the shear force diagram is that the upward force is considered as positive and downward force is considered as negative. Now shear force at point A. Now at point A there is an upward acting force of 5.6 kN and therefore at point A the shear force that is acting is 5.6 kN. From A up to just C left there is no other force that is acting and therefore whatever the value of shear force is there at point A the same will be appearing at the C left. So that is also 5.6 kN as you can see over here. But suddenly at point C, there is a downward acting load, point load of 5 kN and as it is acting in the downward direction, this 5.6 minus 5, so it will be 0.6 kN that we have indicated over here. From this point C up to D left, there is no other force that is acting and therefore whatever the force that is there at point C, the same will be acting at the D left also. So that is 0.6 kN, that also we have shown over here. But exactly at point D, there is suddenly a downward acting point load of 7 kN. And therefore, as it is acting in the downward direction, 0.6 minus 7, so that will give the value of minus 6.4 kN. So that is shown over here. Again, from D to the B left, there is no other force that is acting. So whatever is the shear force that is acting at point D, the same will be acting at point B left also. So 
that is 6.4 kilonewton. Now exactly at point B, there is a point load acting in the upward direction, that is 6.4. So minus 6.4 plus 6.4, so that is 0 kilonewton. So at point B, the value of shear force is 0. So your diagram must be a closed diagram. This is positive and this is negative. Above the baseline, the forces are considered as positive and below the baseline, they are negative. So in this way, you can draw the shear force diagram. Now we have to draw the bending moment diagram. So bending moment at point A and bending moment at point B is zero because there are no other forces acting on the left hand side of the force A. Similarly, no force act on the right hand side of the no forces acts on the right hand side of the point B. Now even if you consider the forces acting on the right hand side of A or left hand side of B, the summation of the moment is always zero at the end of the simply supported wind and therefore bending moment at A is zero and bending moment at B is also zero. Now we have to find out bending moment at point C. So we will consider the forces acting on the left hand side of C. So there is only one force that is acting on the left hand side of C and that is nothing but RA whose magnitude is what 5.6 kN. So RA will produce a clockwise moment about point C as shown over here. So it is 5.6 and from A to C the perpendicular distance is 1.5. So 5.6 multiplied by 1.5 that will give the value of 8.4 km. So then we have to find out the moment at point D. So again we will consider all the forces on the left hand side of point D. So on the left hand side of the point D now there are two forces. One is RA which is 5.6 kN. This RA will produce the clockwise moment about point D. So RA and the perpendicular distance from A up to this point D is nothing but 1.5 plus 2 that is 3.5. So 5.6 into 3.5 and as it is producing the clockwise moment that moment is positive. But this 5 kN force will produce the anti-clockwise moment about point D. So as it is producing anti-clockwise moment, that moment is negative and it is 5 into from this C point up to D point, the perpendicular distance is what? It is 2. So that is negative because it is anti-clockwise moment. So if we calculate that moment is 9.6 kN meter. So in this way, we are getting at point C, moment is 8.4 kN positive. At point D, it is 9.6 kN meter negative. Whereas at point A and B, the moments are 0. So in this way, we can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram.